When I first came to Vietnam, I often saw hordes of people around the storefront buying food stuff and wondered what kind of shop was this? Was it a bun mi shop? A bakery? A charcuterie? Hi, I'm Thuy with Travel Eats Spa. Now that I lived in Saigon for many years and often shop at these places, I finally figured out what to call them. The closest description would be a deli like what you find in America and Europe. There's no Vietnamese name for a deli. So instead, you'll see typical store signs like Ban Mi, Da Da, or Ban Ngon. And like everywhere else in the world, these delis sell a bunch of different things. Even though a store sign may say they specialize in bread or meats, they actually have a lot of different food stuff. And you won't know unless you go inside and browse, which is what I did. You'd be amazed by all the different food stuff in these shops. Unfortunately, some shops don't label the food items, so it's hard to know what it is and how much it costs. This is when it comes in handy having a local guide to help you with translation and explaining about the food. I created this video because I think visitors, especially foodies, would love to explore inside these delis and try some of the unique Vietnamese traditional snacks. I see tourists walk by these shops all the time without a second look, which is a shame. So let me give you a quick overview of what's inside and the four typical foods commonly sold in most delis. The first is of course the banh mi, one of the most popular Vietnamese street food. It's a cold cut baguette sandwich with herbs and pickled carrots and daikon. When you're getting a banh mi from a deli, it's most likely that they make their own meats and pate. And for those who are concerned about hygiene, the good thing about getting a banh mi from a deli is that all the food stuff is refrigerated and indoors to ensure freshness. Each deli has their own style of banh mi and price, and varies from 25,000 to 50,000 dong. So I bought a, a banh mi from this place. It, it's a beef bologna. Inside, it's very, very simple. Like I mentioned in my last banh mi video, this one, this place is very simple. There's no cucumber, no veggies or anything. Just the straight meat. So if you love uh, sausage or bologna, this is the place to go. Just simple meat sandwich with some salt and pepper. Simple but good. I'm gonna put that away because I wanna, I wanna show you this other one. This one is called a banza and it's wrapped in banana leaves. So this is a great snack and it's sold throughout the day. So let's let's open it. Look inside. It's quite a hearty snack. This is a great snack to have on the road, like if you're taking a bus trip or something. It's like a meal in itself. The third snack you can find nearly everywhere is the bun bao or steamed pork buns, which is an adaptation of the Chinese baozi buns. Break this open. Let's see what's inside. So I ordered a Shu mai steamed bun. So this has some pork and it has the uh, you know the roasted pork meat right here and of course every uh, steamed bun cake has the quail egg so that's pretty standard. And last but not least, the fourth snack is the French inspired puff pastry called pate chaud. This is like a mini meat pie. It has a flaky, light textured exterior, and inside is stuffed with ground pork. So these are the four typical snacks you'll find in a deli. But you should try some of the other savory and sweet snacks, especially if they're made fresh. When I'm traveling like on a road trip or a train ride, I usually like to pack some of these snacks to take with me. And I'm always glad I did, because food on the road is always terrible regardless of where you travel in the world. I hope this video has sparked your interest in visiting a deli when you're in Vietnam. If you found this information useful, please drop me a like. And don't forget to subscribe for more local insights and travel recommendations. Thanks for watching and see you next time.